Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here and welcome back to another Black Ops 6 Zombies video. Today we have the Terminus round based reveal trailer, a brand new gameplay trailer for Black Ops 6 Zombies. Let's check it out. All right, here we go. All right, yeah, we saw this from the cinematic the other day. Mm -hmm. Here we go, gameplay time. Let's see, we see an AK there. Okay. Here they come! So that prison block is going to be the starting room, most likely. Ooh. The game visually looks really nice. Whoa! Ha! Huh. Looks like some sort of tentacle trap. That's kind of crazy. We've seen that one before. That's pretty cool. Ooh. All right. Ooh, experiments, of course. Wouldn't be zombies without some twisted experiment. Watch Maya's brother be in one of these tubes. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, what do we have here? Oh! Whoa! Become the Mangler! That's kind of neat, actually. Huh. Alright. Oh, there's gonna be some swimming like Zetsubonoshima. There's Pack-a-Punch. The Parasites from Shadows of Evil are back. Got a boat. PhD flopping. Ooh. Ooh, what the heck? Dark Ether portal gun. The gobble gun machine. Ooh, new wonder weapon. Okay. Very cool. Kind of looks like the Raygun Mark II V from Alpha Omega. There's the new perk machine that also punches the zombies when you buy it. That's cool. That looks like a new field upgrade. Oh, boy. Oh, the spider thing. Ew. Ooh. Oh, that's gross. Oh, but that's not a spider thing. Oh my gosh. Whoa, a Leviathan? Custom Zombies Leviathan? Hello? <laughs> Pre-order digital. Wow. Unlock the reflect okay. Camo pack that's a cool Modern camo. Three, Call of Duty Warzone and Warzone Mobile. Nice, nice. Oh. Liberty Falls, the jet gun? Dark Ether? Liberty Falls gameplay at Call of Duty next. Wow, okay, so all the information we've been getting recently has just been about Terminus, and then when Call of Duty Next happens, then we get details about Liberty Falls. What a crazy trailer this was, actually. That was pretty cool, actually. So, we have some underwater mechanics, similar to Zetsubonoshima, and then, I want to go back to this here. This looks like some sort of black hole ability. I'm not sure what this is. It kind of reminds me of the Casimir device, but... He's shooting it. Oh, is it an ammo mod? Oh, is this like a Dark Ether ammo mod? That'd be pretty cool if that's what it was. Okay, monkey bomb. And let's check out this new wonder weapon here. Okay. In appearance, it sort of looks like a upgraded version of the Ray K from Firebase Z. But, yeah, it's got that same lightning beam effect like the Regan Mark II V does in Alpha Omega, so that's kind of neat, at least. I, I really liked that Wonder Weapon. Ooh, and then here we got these creepy spiders. Wow, I really like the design of these spiders. That's really creepy and grotesque. And then we have this abomination of flesh and body parts and just absolute amalgamation of human parts yeah this is disgusting so here's another crazy asset here to use in uh, black ops 6 we got this tentacle monster from the ocean very similar to leviathan in black ops 3 custom zombies wow so there's gonna be a lot of new enemy types in terminus at least for black ops 6 now skipping ahead here to liberty falls because we haven't seen any liberty falls gameplay this reminds me of attack of the radioactive thing a little bit. This shot. And then we saw the jet gun there. We got Dark Ether Rifts. Kind of similar to D-Machine, actually. With the Dark Ether Rift where you go through the floor. And you have those parts that you pick up there in the Dark Ether. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. I thought this was pretty cool, too. Where you use this syringe and then you turn into a mangler. So that's pretty neat. 
I'm sure it's going to act similar to the Juggernaut suit in multiplayer where you use a button on the D-pad and then you use your score streak, but this isn't really a score streak. It's your syringe, Dark Aether syringe thing. I don't know what they're going to call it, but still pretty neat, actually. Uh, we had in Zetsu Bonoshima where you could become the spider with spider bait, and this is kind of the next step of that. We also see Pack-a-Punch emerging out of the water. So whatever we have to do in this basement level here in Terminus, we got to turn on the power or do some sort of lockdown or something probably. And the Pack-a-Punch machine comes out of the water. So that's kind of neat. And oh, of course, the new perk machine from Melee Macchiato. That's pretty funny, actually. That's a cool looking perk machine. You got the tiny boxers up there. Reminds me of the Rock'em Sock'em robots. And then what I thought was kind of funny is similar to how Mule Kick was able to kill zombies in Black Ops Cold War zombies, where you bought Mule Kick next to the perk machine and all the guns that were sticking out of the machine shot zombies. This perk machine uses its robotic arms to punch zombies around the perk machine. That's that's a cool little feature. That's, that's a nice touch. Chopper Gunner's back. So score streaks are most likely back then. And then we have this here, which looks like a field upgrade to me. This looks like the next evolution of the wand system from Cold War, shooting some sort of dark ether laser. So we have a new, what looks like, dark ether field upgrade, and then we also have a dark ether laser field upgrade. So a lot of dark ether influence in this iteration of zombies, which is always nice to see, expanding the lore. So in addition to the trailer that we got today, Treyarch also decided to post some new information on Twitter about what's in Black Ops 6 Zombies. So it says here, Augments are our new risk versus reward upgrade system for your perks, ammo mods, and field upgrades with over 100 augments to unlock at launch. Choose one major and one minor upgrade per item to match the role you want to play. No more permanent skill tiers to rely on, so choose wisely. So this contrasts to Black Ops Cold War, where you had the tiers where you had the Ethereum crystals to upgrade Juggernaug, Speed, Cola, Stamina up, all that. This time, it's a risk reward. So which ones do you really want to focus on to cater to your particular play style? This could be pretty interesting, actually. Then we have a little bit more information on Gobblegum. Have you heard of Mr. Peaks? Gobblegums are back for the first time since Black Ops 3. Now with the ability to store up to three unique Gobblegums when you need the most, and they're only consumed when activated so that's an interesting quality of life update actually because obviously when you use the gobble gums in black ops 3 when they were in your inventory that's when they were consumed so no longer is that the case only when you actually chew the gobble gums then they're consumed and unlike black ops 3 zombies where you had five unique gobble gums in this game it's only three so that's kind of interesting then we have another look here at this creepy crawly spider zombie evolving zombies are coming for you on terminus island a zombie's head might erupt into a wall crawling vermin which can sprout wings and evolve into a parasite if left alone for too long gross and this right here is quite possibly one of the best changes they could add to black ops 6 zombies about to hit your personal high round record need to get some sleep for the first time ever in zombies you can save and quit in a solo match even if you disconnect, simply pick up where you left off. You guys know me, I have a horrible time in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies because of the crashes and disconnects that I have, so now in Black Ops 6 Zombies, even if I disconnect, I can pick up where I leave off. It's almost like they're kind of expecting their game to crash, which is kind of unfortunate, but at least there is this quality of life improvement and a save and quit feature in Solo, which... That's pretty neat for zombies. Here's another great piece of information. This is the most customizable HUD in zombies history, featuring multiple presets at launch. Choose the Legacy preset for a Black Ops 3 style layout, toggle enemy health bars and damage numbers, or hide most of the HUD entirely. The choice is yours. This is a direct response to all the criticism that they've gotten in the past for Black Ops 4's HUD, Black Ops Cold War's HUD. Now you can choose your own HUD and go back to the Black Ops 3 style HUD, which is pretty neat. And one more really 
really interesting new thing coming to Black Ops 6 Zombies here. It says, Once each map's main quest has been out in the world for some time, we'll add an optional playlist later in season that guides new players through the quest with round progression capped to certain steps. Side quests and other easter eggs will be disabled, so the focus is entirely on experiencing the story. Completing a main quest will unlock unique rewards, and you'll earn a special reward for doing it the old-fashioned way. You'll even earn a limited time calling card if you do so before the launch of the guided mode for that map, so get ready to join the hunt at launch. I think this strikes a really nice balance between hardcore players and brand new players, where, of course, you're gonna have to find the main easter egg on your own without any hints, but then, after maybe a couple of weeks or so, then a guided game mode for the main story easter egg will be releasing. Then for all the new players who don't really easter egg hunt, they can still go through the main quest, this time guided. This strikes a very unique balance, I think, so another great quality of life update here for Black Ops 6. Well, there you have it, everybody, the reveal of Black Ops 6 Zombies gameplay, specifically on Terminus Island. We got a ton of new information today, some quality of life improvements, some new enemy types, new mechanics, things like that. This is going to be a very interesting game to play. And to top it all off, Liberty Falls gameplay will be revealed at the end of August at Call of Duty Next. But what do you guys think about Black Ops 6 Zombies and all the information we got today? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video, and I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe if you're a brand new viewer. And with that said, have a fantastic rest of your day or night, depending on where you are in this crazy world, and I'll see you guys next time.